Hey, what's up? Gear Check with Sage here, and this is part two of what's in my pack. Part one, talked about all the safety gear and things I carry with me for backcountry touring and most ski days. But this is part two, and this is the Sharps version. Now, for me, I'm not a huge ski mountaineer guy, but living in Central Oregon, we do get quite a bit of firm snow. And it wasn't until I lived here that I really started skiing with crampons and ice axes regularly. And it's really just to walk around on firm snow for me for the most part. So depending on where you're going and what your mission is, what you're gonna bring is just gonna change. And for me, as I said, a lot of the skiing we do around here in Oregon, you're walking on firm snow to get to a part of the mountain, but often I'm looking for either corn or soft snow that I'm skiing down. So I'm not climbing up water ice or firm stuff like that. I'm using these sharps really just to get up firm snow safely so that I can ski back down. Now, a few different tools that I use and clearly ice axes and crampons are the main sharp items. But I have a few different versions and a few different configurations and setups. So if you're like me and you're just walking on hard snow, then some of the best crampons I've found are these little ones from Petzl that are very lightweight. These are aluminum. Yeah, what's up? Um, will you help us? Uh, do you need help right this second? Can I finish shooting this video first, or do you need yes, help? Yes, but can I stay to the side? As long as you're quiet, yeah. You down with that? All right, cool. How long will it take you? Five minutes. Okay. All right, so if you're like me and you're walking on mostly hard snow, not much rock, not much water ice, then these aluminum crampons that are lightweight are really nice. I love these ones from Petzl because they fold up Together they're only packaged this small, barely bigger than your cell phone. And they have, instead of metal to connect them, they just have a string, it's just a piece of rope and that connects the two pieces and the aluminum being very light, it's awesome. But because it's aluminum, if you kick into a rock or really hard snow, it is possible for these to bend. So if you're walking around where you're contacting rock a lot, there's a version of these that are hybrid, where they have steel toes and aluminum heels. These are all aluminum. Or you can get yourself just a full steel setup. And these are super bomber, heavy duty, definitely way bigger of a package compared to this little setup here, and quite a bit heavier. Easily twice the weight of these smaller pencils. Uh, but these are great when you need them. So. That's the two setups for crampons I use. Similarly, depending on what you're doing, what type of ax changes. So if you're doing a long distance, a lot of snowy walking, like when we went up to Denali, I use a big snow walker 68 like this. You're mostly using this just for walking and support as well as safety device in case you need to self arrest. Now, I don't really use this much in my daily skiing. I do a lot of short hiking and I like having these shorter axes. I'll sometimes just bring one of these, and occasionally both of them. If things are really firm or we're going up some really icy thing, maybe I'll need both. But generally, I'm just bringing one and it's just a backup in case I need it. Hi. You can come in here. I'm just making a video. But if you come in and be quiet, you can hang out. So ice axes, there's a lot to choose from, from the full on ice climbing axes that are ergonomically shaped to these slightly ergonomically shaped. These are 50 centimeters. Pretty nice, pretty light, pretty versatile, and they've been working great for me. So finding yourself a good ax and bringing it when you need it and using it in the way that you need it best. So for me, those are the two axes I use. And while these aren't sharp, they're incorporated, some of my biggest tools that I use in the mountains for hiking is these plates. These are made by Billy Goat Tech. It's a company in BC. It's called Billy Goat Ascent Plates. 
And these plates are essentially like snowshoe attachments for your crampons. So these are really cool. They're super slim. You can see they're smaller than a shovel blade, really little, and they don't weigh too much. They're made out of aluminum as well, I believe. And in order to get it to attach to your foot, since there's no attachment on it, you have to use your crampon. Thread your crampons through like this. Sandwiches between your boot and the crampon like that. Attach your crampon like normal. And you have this awesome crampon and a plate. Big flotation. Still get your tips. Quite cool. Hiking up steep terrain in really deep snow can just be a wallow, but having something like verts or these billy goat plates can really change the game. You can hike up something twice as fast with half the effort if you have a big plate, whereas otherwise you just might be post holing and just digging yourself into a hole forever. So those are the sharps that I carry in the mountains. Again, for me, I'm not ski mountaineering. I'm really just hiking on hard snow, and this is a perfect setup for me. So depending on where you go, what you hike, what you like to do, what adventures you're trying to get into, some of these might be the right tool for you as well. Thanks for watching. <laughs> you like that? Yeah.